All right, let's do a quick skincare routine and we'll talk about the things I like and dislike about living in the US as a Brit. I've got three things, rudeness versus politeness, the tipping culture and stop signs, just okay. Also, I want to try a different um, skincare thing. It's this. I want to try this stuff, but I still have this left and I can't bring myself just to buy it and waste that. Call me cheap. I think there's a huge misconception that Americans are really rude. So Americans to Americans are not rude, but Americans to somewhere like England are considered rude because I think English are over polite. Sometimes to the point of it being a little bit annoying. I think Americans will go out of their way to like hold a door open for someone. That doesn't happen in England. But when it comes to ordering food or drink, it's give me a, give me a, I'll have a, Get me a... <laughs> there was an American accent in there. Whereas in England, it's please could I have? Please can I have? Like it's very, it's, it's more of a, a question as opposed to a demand. Now I think that's just Americans being more direct. Like realizing that there's a job to be done. So let's get it done. Next is tipping culture. It took me, I came over here for college. It took me a long time to get, to, like, to understand, to be okay with paying a tip on top of the meal. It, it feels like you're giving away money, especially when the person, the server isn't doing anything. Like in England and other countries, you tip if, you, if the server made your experience much better. Always felt like I was giving away money. But I recently saw a video where it was, instead of tipping on the size of the bill, tip on the amount of effort that was put in or the amount of time you spent there. So if you only spent 20 minutes in a restaurant, like and all the server did was bring you food and one drink, not much of a tip there because there's not much work involved. But you know, if they did that same amount of work, but were really nice and made your experience really good, then I'm likely to tip more. I haven't really thought too much about that, but it's interesting to think about. Zing! It all gets caught in my beard. Side note, I think one of the weirdest haircuts I've ever seen, or like beard styles, is a shaved head with a beard. It feels like everything's upside down. <laughs> Nothing against it, like I don't feel any way about it. I just thought it was funny thinking about it that way. All right, final topic, stop signs versus roundabouts. Get rid of stop signs, roundabouts everywhere. Like I know they're quite a new thing, especially here around Kansas, and people don't know what the they're doing. But once you understand them, they, they work so well in England and the rest of Europe, and it makes traffic flow so much smoother. And then like my flip in 2016 Chevy Malibu, the engine shuts off when you come to a stop, and so the Bluetooth disconnects, and you have to reconnect. So when you're singing your heart out and the engine stops, the 90,000 crowd in front of you just dies because you, you've stopped singing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really answer the question. Maybe I do a part two, but I like the history of England. Seeing castles and stuff, that is really cool. You just don't have any of that there, any of that here, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to the gym.